The Gateway Program, a $16 billion venture, is set to revolutionize the Northeast Corridor rail line, connecting Newark, New Jersey to the heart of New York City. This ambitious project promises to lay down new tracks, construct pioneering tunnels beneath the Hudson River, and breathe new life into the century-old rail infrastructure. With a vision to double train capacity and introduce more high-speed rail services, the Gateway Program is not just an upgrade, it's a complete transformation of the busiest rail corridor in the United States. After Hurricane Sandy's wrath left indelible marks on the existing tunnels, the urgency for the Gateway Program surged, evolving from a mere proposal to a critical infrastructure imperative. As we embark on this modernization journey, one can't help but wonder, how will this colossal investment reshape the future of travel and commerce in one of the nation's most vital economic regions? And will it be a success? The story begins with a pressing issue. The Northeast Corridor, the busiest railway in the United States, had reached its total capacity. This rail line, a vital artery for New York commuters and freight alike, was constrained by its old-fashioned design and the limitations of its century-old tunnels. The problem was exacerbated in 2012 when Hurricane Sandy unleashed its fury, flooding the North River tunnels with corrosive salt water, damaging electrical systems, tracks, and signaling equipment. The storm's aftermath underscored a dire need for a comprehensive overhaul of this critical transportation corridor. Responding to this clarion call, the Gateway Program emerged as a visionary blueprint for the future of Trans-Hudson Transportation. They were announced in 2011, a year after the cancellation of a similar project known as Access to the Region's Core. The Gateway Program aimed to address the corridor's vulnerabilities head-on. Its ambitious plans included the construction of new rail bridges in the New Jersey Meadowlands, new tunnels under Bergen Hill and the Hudson River, rehabilitating the existing 1910 tunnel, and expanding New York's Penn Station. The limitations of the existing infrastructure magnified the necessity for the Gateway Program. With their two-track configuration, the North River tunnels could only accommodate 24 trains per hour, a bottleneck restricting the flow of people and goods between two of the nation's most populous states. The Gateway Program was proposed to not only rehabilitate the aging tunnels, but also double the corridor's train capacity, paving the way for increased high-speed rail service and ensuring the region's economic vitality for future generations. Funding and political support for such an expansive project were initially uncertain, with nearly a decade passing before substantial progress was made. The devastation wrought by Hurricane Sandy, however, acted as a catalyst, underscoring the urgency of the project and galvanizing federal and state support. By 2021, the Gateway Program had received formal approval from the federal government, with a total estimated cost of $16.1 billion. This marked the beginning of a new chapter in the story of the Northeast Corridor's transformation. The construction and engineering phase of the Gateway Program is a showcase of modern infrastructure development characterized by innovative solutions, meticulous planning, and a forward-thinking approach. Each component represents a step towards a more connected and efficient future for the Northeast Corridor. The centerpiece of the Gateway Program is the construction of new rail tunnels beneath the Hudson River. This undertaking is monumental, not just in its physical scope, but in the engineering challenges it overcomes. The process begins with the tunnel boring machines, TBMs, marvels of engineering designed to excavate through the earth with precision. These machines have cutting-edge technology to navigate through varied geological conditions beneath the river, ensuring the tunnel's path is efficient and safe. Constructing these tunnels is a delicate operation that requires constant monitoring. 
The TBMs are guided by advanced GPS and laser systems, allowing real-time adjustments to avoid obstacles and maintain the correct trajectory. As they carve through the earth, a precast concrete lining stabilizes the newly formed tunnel, ensuring its integrity and longevity. Another critical component of the Gateway program is replacing the Portal Bridge, a notorious rail traffic bottleneck. The new design proposes a higher, fixed-span bridge that eliminates the need for openings, thus reducing delays. This structure is designed to withstand the test of time with its robust materials and construction techniques, ensuring seamless rail traffic flow. Innovative construction methods such as off-site manufacturing of bridge components minimize disruption to the existing rail service, showcasing a blend of efficiency and foresight. The Tonnell Avenue Bridge and Utility Relocation Project is a vital preliminary step in the Hudson Tunnel construction. This involves shifting a significant roadway to accommodate the future tunnel tracks, requiring intricate coordination. The project is executed in phases to maintain traffic flow, with temporary relocations of utilities and roadways ensuring uninterrupted access. This phase also includes significant site work, such as grading, drainage, and stormwater management, highlighting the comprehensive approach to infrastructure development. The Gateway program also navigates the challenge of integrating new infrastructure with Manhattan's bustling urban environment, particularly at Hudson Yards. The construction of a tunnel box to preserve the right-of-way for the future tunnel while allowing the Hudson Yards development to proceed above is a prime example of innovative problem-solving. This requires precision engineering to ensure the structural integrity of both the tunnel and the buildings above. At the heart of the program's ambition lies the expansion of Penn Station, New York. This project is set to dramatically increase the station's capacity by adding new tracks, platforms, and passenger concourses. It responds to the critical bottleneck that Penn Station represents on the Northeast Corridor. With approximately 1,300 train movements every weekday, the expansion is not just necessary, it's imperative for the future of transit in the region. This expansion is envisioned to smooth out the wrinkles of congestion, making room for the Gateway Program's anticipated increase in rail traffic between New Jersey and New York. The sawtooth bridges, known for their distinctive shape and critical role in the rail network, are set for a transformative replacement. The new structures will carry four tracks, ensuring seamless integration with the Northeast Corridor's expanded throughput. This upgrade from the existing two-track configuration is a strategic move to eliminate one of the many choke points that currently hamper the corridor's efficiency. In a parallel effort to augment capacity, the Harrison 4th Track project will relocate path track and signaling equipment. This adjustment allows for an additional Northeast Corridor track, further enhancing the route's ability to handle the increased volume of trains, and passengers the Gateway program promises. The venerable dock bridge over the Passaic River in Newark is also slated for a significant overhaul. By converting this movable bridge into a fixed structure, the project aims to reduce the delays that have long plagued PATH, NJ Transit, and Amtrak trains. This nearly 90-year-old bridge will receive much-needed repairs to its steel and concrete structures, ensuring its role in the region's transportation network for decades. Joining the newly constructed Portal North Bridge, the Portal South Bridge project will introduce a second two-track bridge over the Hackensack River. This addition will align with the Northeast Corridor's four-track standard, eliminating another bottleneck and harmonizing the flow of rail traffic. The expansion and reconfiguration of tracks at Secaucus Junction are pivotal for supporting the Gateway Program's service growth. Moreover, the introduction of the bergen secaucus Loop promises a revolutionary one-seat ride for NJ Transit and MTA Metro North riders, directly linking them to Penn Station, New York, without the need for transfers. This leap in accessibility and convenience is a game-changer for commuters and travelers alike. 
Anticipating the surge in rail service, a new NJ Transit storage yard is on the drawing board. This facility is essential for accommodating the increase in trains and ensuring robust operational logistics support for the expanded service. The Gateway program is reshaping the future of rail travel with its groundbreaking approach and ambitious plans. It's more than just an upgrade, it's a leap towards a smoother, quicker, and more dependable way for millions to travel across the Northeast Corridor. What impact do you think the Gateway program will have on the future of travel and infrastructure in America? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to stay updated with our new videos.